anyway, the lineup tonight, we got, let's see, I'm Sparkle Girl, after that, uh, Overdose and Catatonic, and I are doing a live debut of our uh, collaborative project, uh, Filthy Overdose, and then, uh, Overdose and Catatonic switches off with Charlie from the Earwigs doing Die, then Charlie's doing the Earwigs. If you're a little bit confused, that's okay. So are we. So we're just going to roll with it. But anyway, stick around. We've got a bunch attack. of night of noise. Thanks to uh, Lewis and Bruce for uh, ha you know, having me. Uh, it's it's an honor to be playing not only my first show ritual. in a couple of years, ritual hate. I hate ritual. but uh, my ritual our, hate. Uh, first show in Spokane. So anyway, let's go. Oh, don't forget ritual hate. Oh, and, and not to forget ritual hate. Um, who I believe is from Spokane. Yes. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I can finally get to see live. It's like these obnoxious fucks. They can't ask one band from our town to play. Anyway, get in touch because you guys need to come over to Moscow and jam. It's not that far. Cool.
thank you. Right, here we are with the uh, one half of Sparkle Girl. Have you anything to say to uh, your fans? Okay, well, fans. Oh, yes. Man, I don't know about that. I will relate a story that is both odd and interesting. Living in Ballard, my local was the Tin Hat. Say hi to Amy for me, anybody in Seattle. But Amy and her boyfriend, who used to cook there, uh, got trapped on a road trip to Portland from Seattle. And all they had in their car was a Sparkle Girl tape. <laughs> they had to listen to Sparkle Girl all the way down to Portland. In Portland. All the way back. Because they didn't have money to buy other music. And by that point, they were, no sort truck of, they were sort of committed. And so, here we go. A few years later, and I'm in Moscow, and I'm um, having, a, having a beer at Mikey's, which if you're in my, Moscow, great place to play, great Euros. Cheap beer, too. $3 pint, $3 micros. Anyway, one of the cooks looks at me and goes, you know, my girlfriend and I, for spring break, we go to Portland. All we had in the car was a Descendants tape and a couple Sparkle Girl tape CDs. So the whole way to Portland and the whole way back, they were forced, well, not forced, but they just listened to Sparkle Girl, and I was like, you know, one time, okay, twice, that's why we do this. So, thanks to everybody for coming out, and uh, stick around, uh, got to be joined by uh, Overdose the Catatonic, and we will be doing the live debut of Filthy Overdose. Oh, and for those of you wondering how some of those heinous sounds are created, Mr. Crank Sturgeon is also the preeminent maker of contact mics, suitable for every purpose. And believe me, they can take a beating. As I was telling him earlier, I once put one on an extension cord and whirled it like a lasso. But if you go back on the merch table, um, uh, I've got some stuff for sale. Charlie has some cool earwigs. Uh, looks like R Ritual. Uh, is it Ritual yeah. Hate? It looks like they have some really nice stuff. I got to trade with those guys. And uh, Crank and, and PCRV also have an awesome selection. And if you're interested in creating noise, uh, I'll tell you right now, Crank has some of the best tools for somebody who wants to get into, into making a racket. And, uh, so there you are. Okay, can you go ahead and just film Jim, Jim and I? Yes, and then I gotta get some food. Oh. And some water. What's that? Yeah. I'm gonna go get some tofu spring rolls. Do you want some? Uh, I would love you to. Said, you said fries, and that's not gonna give you any energy. Yeah, actually, there. french fries would probably make, give me a heart attack. Yeah, actually, Kai, that would be really freaking awesome. Yeah, I could do that. He's gonna get, um, so I just, I'll just turn this off a little faster. Just.